Okay, friends, I'm going to give you a close up. I'm, I'm starting to really um, get a hold of this. Uh, you know what files I like? Valerby. The Valerby little file. I, I really like these square files. I'm getting on to this square filing thing, friends, like, like, I mean, seriously. I am. Friends, I, I what I'm finding, because you got both sides, right? So this was a grind. I, I ground this with my machine, so I gotta change the angle just a little bit here. And if you go too hard, it'll catch, right? You see that? Once you find your little, so don't press too hard. You see, you've gotta break through a couple of those little, sometimes I'll hold the tooth. There we go. Okay, I need to show you something. There, so there, there it is, I've got my groove now. It's the top plate that'll catch, right? Okay, see? Okay, friends, you, I, I'm just gonna take a shot in the dark and say, let's take a look at this. <laughs> you, I, I wanna share this with you, friends, because this is my journey on, on square filing. Check this out. Y you know what I'm saying? Oh dear. Friends. You, you, you know what I mean? Okay. Friends, good morning to you. Um, so, so this video, friends, I've been having such a good time down at Root Rot Ronnie's. It's been such a pleasure to have to go there. And that was a big pull the other day on that. I love that kind of stuff. But so, friends, I, I've been experimenting with filing. Okay. Um, the, the BBC, it, it works. It just does. It takes a little bit to learn how to do, but I've actually, I, I had to have it in my mind. You, you guys know what I'm like. I can't just say, oh yeah, that, that baby C cuts. Well, how does it cut? Does it cut comparable to stock chain out of the box or is it better than, you, do you know what I'm saying? Like I have to know these things. I can't, I can't say anything. Or, or say something, if it's not true, I just can't live that way. So, you know what I mean? So I had to go do it. So I take a, a chain out of the box, and I put it on the saw, brand new, and I run it. And then I do another experiment. And friends, I'm on to something right now. See how this goes in there? What's going on? Like this. See how it doesn't touch the cutting edges? See? It goes underneath and it leaves you with that. It's a, I just call it a chip dump. This is sharp, man. Oh dear. Very interesting, actually. Very interesting. Crazy. Um, that's coming up too. I think you, you friends, I, I think I've just stumbled across my fastest hand file chain. Stay tuned. Hit the thumbs up. This is a blast. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section. And friends, again, I urge you, have your own experience. Have your own experience. Get a chain. Get the files. Start going. Okay, friends, let's take two seconds. Seriously, let's just look at this. I want to talk gullet because everybody's like, well, Buck, and you said get the gullet and you're not getting. Friends, why do these chains cut? This is the fastest cutting chain on this whole group right here, right here. Why? Because it's square ground. 
Everybody knows. Whoever's done it knows it. It's faster. Why? Well, take a look. There's a corner, right? There's a corner there. Right there. And if you run down from there, straight down, you're going to end up with a little space in here. Do you know what I mean by that? Like a straight edge? If you put a straight edge there like this, you're going to end up... What I'm saying is it's grabbing something, depending on this guy. Okay? We know this cuts. And we just did a series on why I leave the gullet in. And I actually showed you that I left the gullet in and then I took it out and it there was no difference. Actually, in my opinion, it was better with it out or pardon me, with it in, left in, the gullet, left in, okay? The gullet, here is a quick, and you can tell by my artistry that I am very much an artist, factory chain, right? There it is. We all know the gullet is down here, right? That We, we know this. This is the gullet. So you'll end up with, this is where get the gullet came from. Here's the ski jump. Me and Killinger just went through this the other day. See, this is what happens. People start ending up with this right here. This is the gullet. It gets left and you start working up the ski jump. Well, this, the wood is going to come in. It's just going to bat against this and kind of create not good cutting. Well, the baby C, this is the gullet, but it actually isn't the gullet. If you think about it on the baby C, this is not the gullet. It's the gullet of the chain, but it is not the gullet of the C. You understand? The reason this isn't cutting is because this is behind this. This can't be behind this. This and this. This is your cutting tooth. This is the size of your cutting tooth. This has nothing to do with anything. Anything. This is your blade. Your cutting blade or your cutting tooth, whatever you want to talk about. Over here, this is your cutting tooth. Down here, this is your cutting tooth from there to there. Because there's nothing here. That's the cutting tooth. Here, the cutting tooth is there to there. So really, in essence, the gullet in the baby C is here, would be here, another one of these lines. So, so in essence, the gullet in the baby C would be here, another gullet completely. Does this make sense, friends? I mean, this is a pretty aggressive, right? But you, I think, I hope I'm making sense, friends. So when I say get the gullet, I mean get this, get the gullet, get this out so that this becomes now at least that. See, if this was gone, this point would come down. This gullet would be gone now. Picture that gone. Now you're getting this C back, which is here. Okay, so really, in essence, the baby C, you, you guys get what I'm talking about, don't you? The gullet, right? Yes. But in a hand file, yes, this is the gullet. It is, absolutely, this, this is the gullet. Of course it is. But really, when you think about it, because this, you need to see space here in order for this to cut, Really, you know what I'm saying, I know you do. Yeah, you do. Friend, so <clears throat> if you're heading out and you've got your power saws in the back of your pickup and you don't have your log, you know, with the slits in it, do that. Just throw a rope over it. Make sure you got a, a rubber bottom though. You don't want to grind out your chain on the flat deck, you know, on the steel. But I do that one a lot when I'm just quickly going somewhere and I don't want to swap logs out in the trucks. Just throw a rope over the bars. Just keeps them from jumping around.
Okay, friends, so I want to show you how I, when I don't have my, uh, when I don't have my log that I put my power saws in, this is the only way I can do it. It's the only way I do it. I just throw a rope over the bars. I just came four buying in through here. You know what I mean? Like, it, that's it. They don't move. And they're not hurting nothing because I got rubber there, you see? So, friends, <laughs> This log was huge. It's huge. This truck would never pull this uh, if we hadn't set it up how we did set it up. And uh, it it freaking worked. It worked real good. I'm not. I didn't bring an axe today. I I've actually brought. I, I want to do another little experiment today. Kind of an interesting one, really. Um, one some of you might kind of enjoy. The baby seat. Okay, we all know that I've been playing around. Then you just grab both power saws and slide them out like this. Then grab your rope, pull your rope off. You're home, home free. Okay? So, friends, you you all know I've been playing around with the baby seat okay here is a stock full house chain stock uh exl organ brand new nothing brand spanking brand new full house mind you okay full house and then of course you're all familiar with the baby seat we don't need to go too far into that but i will go far into that because i'm right here baby c see the little teeny c right there that's it little baby c see the little mark right there yeah yeah uh-huh of course you do okay so we got the baby c on So friends, this is how I, I do this. I'm not cutting into the dirt. So, so this is actually how I do these cuts, just to give us an idea of what the Baby C does up against a, a chain right out of the box. Remember, Baby C is skip, and the other chain coming up next is a full house EXL out of the box. I don't, I can't cut all the way through or I'll smash the rocks. But you guys can figure out how that, and that saw pulls like crazy. That That is a wild bum and muffler. So let's just swap chain out. And I don't have much time. I got that conference call I was telling you about at three o'clock. So let's swap chain out. Baby C. It's almost toast anyway. Stock. EXL. Full. Organ. The, the, friends, the Mac Pro Mac 1010 that I did the, the square filing with, it, it's coming out after this too. I just want to get this test out of the way and then we're going to have some fun with that Mac. Okay. So stick Let's around see for where that. Our adjustment is. Um, we're actually fairly close, but I am going to back that off just a couple turns to make sure we're golden. This thing's been acting up a little bit here. I don't like how that does that, but I guess that's life. So, you, you would hope that this would cut faster than that baby seed. You would think, not hope. I'm actually hoping that the baby C cuts faster. 
I'm hoping. So I should have rephrased that actually. You would think it would cut faster. You just would. My, my yeah, you would think. Mm -hmm. Friends, I mean, that, that makes no sense at all. It doesn't. Rakers are hungry on the skip tooth because I run my rakers a little hungrier on skip or don't cut that good. That's just my experience. Full house, you can keep them a little higher, right? Yes. Let's go. Get your timers out. Because we got a Mac 1010 we're going to run here in a second, too. Okay, let's do it. I don't know which was faster. We're going to find out. But that's a stock chain. I think I've even... I may even have just... No, I don't know. I, I think that... Whether that... I put a gauge on it maybe. And just... Because new, they're... They're a little high new, right? Is that just shine? Anyways, look at it. It's, it's bone stock. There's never been a file on it, friends. Okay. Oh yeah, no, the rakers haven't even been touched. If anything, they I so what I do sometimes is I'll put a little I'll put a gauge on and I'll just run run the file over the gauge to make sure everything's even. So that felt like it was fairly similar in speed. The baby C might even have pulled harder. Let's run a let's run an old 1010. Now we get to have some fun. Watch this saw. Think about this for a minute. Think about what's happening right now with this old Mac. Just think about this. This is a full house hand file square. Square. I don't even know if I did anything to the rakers. how I check to see how sharp I'm going to be, what my cutting experience is going to be like. That's, that's what I do every time when I've just filed or new chain or whenever I get onto a log, I go like that. Did you see what I did? Ah! 
Okay, did you just see what just happened there? That's a freaking 1010. That's a Mac 1010. has more you know that right it has more shall we check it out
Yeah, everything's the same. It's like a tabletop. Somebody asked me, fucking, you got a tape measure or something or something on your saw? And I'm like, no, <laughs> it's just years of cutting, right? Years of cutting. So friends, if you've ever seen, listen, if you doubt McCulloch, the Promac 1010, and you say that, well, they can't pull a 28 inch bar. They, they you know, they, we, we run 18 or 20. Well, that's great. Don't stop doing it. They run even, they run great with that. Uh, in, in wood like this, I don't mind digging the dogs in and bending over and getting in it because that's good sized wood. But when you got buck small wood, people think the long bars for the big wood. <laughs> it's actually the opposite for us. <laughs> Well, I mean, to a point, right? Like small wood, you got to bend over and buck it unless you're going to stand up and buck like this, right? So this is a legendary Promac 1010, absolutely legendary. Check it out on, uh, and actually it, that, that saw runs really good with skip tooth chain. We were cutting maple one day, it was four foot, four foot maple. <laughs> It's a good video to watch. I think I'll, I'll link it, see if I can do that, which I probably can. Uh, I think it's a legendary Pro Mac 1010 or something like that. It's nuts, that saw's nuts. I, I have nothing, know nothing about it. Never been inside it. I've kicked the snot right out of it several times. Right there, I give it a hard run, even turned it up a bit and let it fly. Opened her back up, threw some high jet at it, seems similar maybe a little touch stronger with more fuel but maybe a little slower not positive on that but not worried about it i can feel it in the cut that it, it likes it right where it's at actually and there's you know if you want to buzz the saw up it's better to do it in small wood for quick zaps when you're in big bucks like that feed it some more fuel and just you know if you're going to rest on the dogs like we did some there feed it some fuel don't 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 starve it because you'll blow it in a cut it's the small little zing zings that's when i like to lean my saws a little bit and run them a little more ragged if that makes sense so especially the old ones that was fun